Number 10. India's Skeleton Lake Just imagine heading out to the wild parts of northern India for adventure and excitement. As you pass by a remote glacier lake up in the Himalayas, a chill wind hits you. It sounds like the howling of ghosts. Suddenly, you see something strange at the edge of the lake. It's a human skeleton. And it's not alone. There are hundreds of them. This isn't a fantasy, it's reality. In India, there's a horrifying lake in which hundreds of ancient skeletons have been found. The lake is located in Rupkund, about 16,000 feet or 5,000 meters above sea level. The skeletons were first discovered by a British forest officer in 1942. At the time, the lake was completely frozen. When the ice melted in the summer, hundreds of skeletal remains were found floating aimlessly in the water and piled around the edges of the lake. It was immediately obvious that something awful had happened there. The feeling was that the bodies were left over from some kind of war. The British first thought they were Japanese soldiers who died of exposure while trying to sneak through India. Scared of a Japanese invasion, investigators were sent to Rupkun to get to the bottom of it. As it turned out, the skeletons were quite old. Some of the flesh was preserved thanks to the cold air, but it was still obvious the skeletons were probably centuries old. It wasn't until 2004 when an expedition to the site recovered DNA evidence and indicated the bodies are from around 850 AD. They also discovered that those who had died here suffered from similar fatal blows that left cracks in their skulls. To this day, nobody's really sure why these random people died, with one of the best explanations being that a group of about 200 pilgrims died suddenly in a hailstorm that caused massive balls of ice to crack their skulls open. However, this has yet to be proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. Number 9. Scottish Ceremonial Site The shocking discovery of a massive ceremonial site in Scotland where locals gathered nearly 6,000 years ago has left archaeologists in disbelief. The discovery was made by builders working on a bypass near Galloway. The size of the ceremonial complex is being compared to the huge Neolithic site of Orkney. The area has a history going back over 8,000 years. In the center of the site was discovered a ceremonial complex, likely constructed in 3800 BCE. It would have been one of the most monumental structures in Scotland during its time, styled like a cathedral and visited by the communities in the region for ritual activities. However, it's not clear what kind of rituals went on here or what these early people were worshipping. There was hardly any physical evidence left other than a series of post holes discovered by researchers. But we also know that nearby there have been some of the earliest houses in Britain discovered, huts that date back around 6800 BCE. This was when humans first started settling Scotland. This newfound monument was one of their first and most successful shots at a religious complex. Number 8. Ancient Camel Skeleton In Austria, the shocking remains of an ancient camel skeleton have been found inside of a refuse pit. The skeleton is over 300 years old and dates back to a time when the Ottomans invaded Vienna. The preserved skeleton was taken from the refuse pit in the small Austrian town of Tulln on the banks of the Danube River just before the construction of a new shopping center. From what researchers have been able to put together, the skeleton had probably been used as a riding animal during the Osmanic Habsburg Wars of the 17th century, back when the Ottoman Empire was trying to expand into Europe. Scientific estimates place the death of the animal at 1683 during the Siege of Vienna. The reason the discovery is so shocking and interesting is that it's the first complete camel skeleton ever found in Central Europe. There have been some isolated camel bones found previously in places like Serbia and Belgium, but there have never been camels found of this nature this close to Central Europe. Even more fascinating is that the camel was a type of hybrid between two similar species. This means that for the citizens of Tulln, the camel would have been an extremely exotic beast. They wouldn't have known what to think about such a creature, but it probably terrified them, especially when violent Turkish warriors were riding it. Number 7. Rare Viking Treasure Hoard A rare hoard of Viking artifacts has been found on the Isle of Man and declared a national treasure. The hoard was buried sometime around 950 AD, 
and then discovered in late 2020 by Kath Giles and her metal detector. She was shocked when her metal detector started beeping and she reached into the dirt to discover some seriously impressive jewelry worth an absolute fortune. She found a gold arm ring, a silver armband, and even a large silver brooch. These artifacts will be going to the local Menx Museum to be put on display. But why was there such a huge hoard of artifacts from the Vikings on such a small island? Kath did find more than just those three pieces of jewelry. It's just that those were the most impressive finds. The reason the Viking treasure was found here, on the tiny self-governing dependency stuck between Great Britain and Ireland, is because the Vikings settled the island during the 9th century and began a trade network with Britain. There have also been burials of the Viking Age excavated on the Isle of Man. Archaeologists have uncovered proof of their pagan traditions as well. At the moment, all signs point to this hoard, which has been nicknamed the Giles Hoard, as belonging to a wealthy Viking trader who must have hidden his loot and then either forgot about it or never got the chance to dig it back up. What would you do if you lost a priceless treasure? How would you get over it? Or would you be depressed for the rest of your life? Tell me what you'd do in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more exciting and wild videos. Number 6. Shocking Chinese Tomb Archaeologists working in Yangquan, China made a shocking discovery when they found a tomb shaped like an octagon with its walls covered in some very disturbing murals. These murals date back 700 years to when China was ruled by the descendants of Genghis Khan and his great Mongol horde. The tomb has a roof shaped like a pyramid. The ceiling is decorated with images from the cosmos, such as the moon and stars. One of the more disturbing murals found within the tomb depicts parents trying to bury their very young son while he's still alive. Other murals show life in ancient China while under Mongol rule. There are plenty of normal images of musicians playing music, tea being made, and camels transporting people and products. And what's truly interesting about these murals is that the people are wearing Mongol attire rather than Chinese fashions. That means the murals were likely made after 1314 when the Mongol rulers issued a dress code to segregate Mongol and Chinese. As for who was buried inside the tomb, nobody knows. There were no bodies or skeletal remains found inside. The tomb was probably made for a husband and wife, but it's impossible to say just what happened to their bodies. They may have been looted by grave robbers centuries ago. Number 5. Hippo Graveyard Greek and Cypriot scientists were recently trying to understand the mystery of why a graveyard of dwarf hippopotamuses was found at a local dig site outside the popular resort of Ayanapa. Paleontologists found about 80 skeletons of dwarf hippos and say there could be hundreds more just beneath an exposed layer of fossils stuck in the crevice of an ancient coral reef that is now fossilized above the coastline. The fossils appear to date back to 11,500 BCE, and apparently they could give researchers clue as to when humans first began wandering onto Cyprus and island nation in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. To understand exactly what's going on here, it's important to understand that the hippo fossils were found inside of a collapsed cave. It's also important to note that these hippos were significantly different from modern hippos. You would recognize them, but they'd make you scratch your head if you ever saw them. They were smaller and had evolved to wander around on land instead of swim in the water. They could even stand on their hind legs to reach the food from tree branches. What researchers don't understand is how the hippos made it all the way from Turkey and Syria to the island of Cyprus. The only way would have been if they somehow clung to tree branches and then paddled across the enormous stretch of water. Either that or the hippos could have already been on the island and human beings living there far before scientists had previously thought drove them to extinction. This would explain why so many of them were found in a mass graveyard. They may have been hunted. Number 4. Constantine's Finger A large statue of Constantine the Great has been reunited with its finger after they were separated for over 500 years. The statue rests inside of the Capitoline Museum of Rome. Its finger had been kept inside the Louvre Museum in Paris ever since 1863. The history of the statue and its finger is incredibly strange. The Louvre first got the finger from an Italian art collector. 
but it wouldn't be for almost 150 years that the artifact was recognized as a finger. Experts had actually thought it was a Roman toe from some unknown statue. Doctoral student Ariella Azema finally connected the finger to the statue of Constantine the Great, and the Louvre has since handed the finger over. It's probably the longest time between a finger being removed and then reattached to anything ever. As for the precious statue itself, it probably lost its finger back in 1584, when it sustained damage after being moved from its original position to a column along what is known as the Appian Way, one of the major roads in the Roman Empire. Number 3. Golden Greek Crown A pensioner in Britain recently made the shocking discovery of a lifetime when he found a golden crown from ancient Greece hiding in a cardboard box wrapped in some dirty old newspaper. The box had been sitting under his bed for years. He'd received the artifact from his grandfather, but he never really thought much of it, according to what he told Daily Mail. Then, when he was moving some things around, he thought it might be a good idea to get the crown appraised. It turned out to be worth over $200,000. The crown, first of all, is pure gold. It's around 8 inches or 20 centimeters in diameter and crafted by hand. It comes from the era of Alexander the Great, during the Hellenistic period around 323 BCE. Unfortunately, there is absolutely no information on where the man's grandfather acquired such a beautiful treasure. He traveled quite a bit throughout the 1940s and 50s in Greece and Macedonia, so it's assumed he picked it up from there. But who it belonged to 2,000 years ago, and how it managed to remain in perfect condition throughout the centuries, is an absolute mystery. These types of crowns were used sometimes as offerings left at the graves of famous aristocrats. Number 2. Secret Alaskan Fort Radar recently helped to unearth a mysterious Alaskan fort that had been built as a bulwark by the indigenous tribes who battled against Russian invaders. That's right, native Alaskans fought the Russians at the frozen edge of the world 200 years ago. This shocking discovery was built by Alaska's Tlingit people during the turn of the 19th century. The fortification had been used as a defensive barrier against encroaching Russian forces. It was only found today because of new advances in radar and imaging technologies. It hasn't actually been dug up or excavated yet, seeing as it's nothing but rotted pieces of wood. But now researchers know it's there, or that it at least stood in that spot. But what happened back in the early 1800s? In 1799, Russia invaded Alaska. At the time, Alaska was still populated by the indigenous people. The Russians were interested in fur trading, and they had already basically killed all the indigenous in Siberia, so they weren't above wiping out another entire group of people just to trade some furs, similar to what the British and French were doing in the rest of the continent. But this impressive fort helped to push the invaders back in 1802. Sadly, when the Russians came back in 1804, with supplies provided by British traders, the Tlingit people fell and Russia staked their claim to Alaska. Of course, that's before they sold the land to the United States in 1867 for a whopping $7 million. That's a lot of land for only $7 million bucks. How would you like to own all of Alaska for a mere $7 million? Of course, that's over $130 million in today's money, but even then, it seems like a bargain to me. Number 1. Ancient Roman Safe The curious remains of a wooden safe once used during the days of the Roman Empire to safeguard jewelry, luxury clothing, essential documents, and other valuables has been uncovered inside an ancient Roman villa in Spain. It's someone's secret safe deposit box from over 1600 years ago. The villa dates back to the 4th century when Rome still occupied what is today Spain. It was a place to keep all of a person's valuables. It was made of wood, decorated with bronze, and locked with metal. Sadly, it burnt to a crisp when the luxury villa caught on fire. This is an important discovery, because not many safes like this have been found intact. And even though this one wasn't technically intact, it was still in shockingly good condition, all things considered. Only a handful of other pieces have ever been found with one of them preserved almost to perfection in Pompeii. Unfortunately, we don't know what was kept inside of this particular safe. For the past several hundred years, everything inside of it has been decaying, except for some scraps of metal from its exterior. 
What could have been inside? Let me know what you think. Which of these discoveries did you find the most fascinating? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos from Taltanic.